Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a Chinese collar with a V-neck. So first you want to measure 3 inches or 4 inches for the depth of the neckline and then you want to measure from the folded side about 2.5 inches for the width of the neckline. And then join it up with a circle. Then from the very top of your shirt you want to mark down your normal neckline depth. I'm marking mine down at 5.5 inches. And then you want to draw half an inch from the folded edge of the cloth along the width markings and then connect it using a diagonal line with the normal depth marking. Okay, so now you have a perfect V shape. And you can just cut along. Then you want to measure another 5 inches right under the V shape. Once you make the marking, you can unfold the cloth and cut up uh, right up to that last marking that we just made. The total depth of this neckline is 12 inches. Now we're going to draft this neckline on a folded scrap of patterned cloth. Now keep in mind, all these measurements for the V-shape and for the round neckline were based on a teenager's measurements, so measure according to your own age group. Now for the uh, draft of the neckline on the patterned cloth, add an extra inch to the total depth of 12 inches, so 12 plus 1, 13 inches. For the width of the draft, it depends on how thick you want the border to be around your neckline. I chose mine to be 2 and 3 quarters of an inch wide. Now trace the outline and cut along. So cutting this piece down the center will give us two strips of cloth that we can attach later on to an interface. So now we're going to draft the neckline on a folded piece of interface. For this we'll draw a 1 inch wide and a 12 inch long Y shape. The head of the Y shape will be 5 inches which corresponds to the normal depth of the neckline. It's better to measure a bit longer than 5 inches than shorter. The width of the Y shape depends on the width of the pattern cloth that we just cut, so almost half the width of the pattern cloth. And the total length of the Y shape depends on the total depth of the neckline, which we had at 12 inches. So we'll complete the total length uh, with the tail of the Y shape by measuring from the top of the interface all the way down to 12 inches. And then we'll just connect the tail to the head. So make sure the tail is also one inch wide and then just connect it to the head. Now we're only drawing half of the Y shape. So when we unfold the interface, we'll get the full Y shape. Now we just cut along the outline and then when you unfold, you get a Y shape. Now you cut this Y shape down the center. Okay, so now you have two pieces of interface and two pieces of the patterned cloth. Now what we'll do next is put the uh, right side of the strip on the wrong side of the uh, shirt and then stitch. So we'll just arrange it around the neckline that we cut earlier. And again, it's the right side of the strip on the wrong side of the shirt. So next, I'm going to show you how we're going to stitch that onto the wrong side of the shirt. So again, it's the right side of the um, strip and the wrong side of the shirt. So when you reach the uh, V shape, you're going to have to stop the machine, lift up the presser foot and turn a bit. So as you can see, we're approaching the bottom of the neckline, the end of the neckline. So when you are about a centimeter away from the end of the neckline, we want to stop and then back stitch. And then you're done. So then you want to iron the entire uh, neckline. And then you want to clip the end of the neckline. Make sure to clip the brown cloth only, not the patterned cloth. Okay, so next you want to turn both of the flaps to the right side of the shirt. And then we'll just um, add the two pieces of interface that we had cut earlier to these uh, pieces of patterned cloth. The enter, uh, interface is adhesive, so uh, we have to use the iron. 
Okay, so now I'm just folding the patterned cloth around the interface. And now I'm adding it to the second part of the neckline. And again, ironing it to make it stick to the interface. So now I have pinned the interface with the neckline and we're just going to sew it all together. But before we do that, we have to measure the desired depth of the neckline and then add a piece of cloth to close up the rest of the V. I'm marking mine at five and a half inches. So for the piece of cloth, I've just sewn it into a sleeve and then I've attached it to the um, neckline. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew it all together. Okay, so now we're done with the neckline. I'm just going to cut off the access interface. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the collar. So for the collar, you want to fold the neckline in half and then just make a notch right in the center. Okay, so now we measure it. Mine measures at um, 7 inches. So the full uh, neckline would have been 14 inches. So now you mark the full 14 inches on a piece of interface and fold the interface. And then on the folded interface, you want to make a mark at 7 inches. And then you want to even out the bottom of the interface by drawing a straight line across. So for the width of the collar, I'm going to mark mine at 1 and a quarter inch. So now I'm just going to go across and uh, make that measurement so that the line at the top can be parallel to the one I just drew at the bottom. So now we're going to mark from the folded side two and a half inches, which is the width of the um, neckline. So next you want to mark half an inch above the bottom collar line and then also mark half an inch above the top of the collar line. And then you just want to connect as shown in the video. So once you connect all the marks, you will have one and a quarter inch wide collar, which is slightly raised in the front. So then just measure the collar again to make sure and then close it off. So um, now I'm just going to add a rounded edge. You can keep it. Um, a sharp edge or you can curve it like I'm showing in the video and I'm just gonna cut it all out so now I'm just gonna attach the interface to a piece of cloth that's longer and wider and because the interface is not adhesive we're gonna have to stitch it to the cloth so this stitch is just for attaching it to the cloth So as you can see, this stitch is um, right on top of the interface. And now we're going to attach the piece of cloth to another piece of cloth and sew them both together. And this stitch is going to give um, the shape to the collar. So it's going to be around the interface, not on top of the interface. So now we're just going to cut off the extra fabric and then just leave a quarter inch at the top of the collar. And then we're just going to fold one edge towards the interface and run a stitch. And then once you're done stitching it, you just run an iron on it. And next, we're just going to attach it to the um, shirt. So 
So you want to sew the raw edge of the collar to the right side of the shirt neckline. So now I'm just going to run a stitch around the edge of the collar. And once you're done that, we're done. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more great videos.